Hey, what's up? This is Attila, and today we're gonna talk about the remaining riffs of fucking Hostile. So, without further talk, let's get into it. Okay, so first I'm gonna be talking about the chorus. Right after this part, we're gonna start with a palm muted open E string, and then an A5 power chord, and slide down to three. And then right after that, we're gonna palm mute again the open E string and then hit the th third fret over the E string with the power chord. So together. And then you repeat this one. Twice. And after the third time, this last note is not a dotted quarter note, but instead now it's just eighth notes and a little rest in between. So together so far. And then the last bar starts over the fifth, a quarter note, and then sixteenth notes with palm mutings over the fifth. Not power chord, it's just one string. And then we're gonna repeat the whole thing. And there's just a few adjustments. So instead of an open E palm mute, now it's a palm muted fifth over the E. And then also with the downstroke, palm mute the fifth over the A. And that's a power chord. And then down again, so it's all downstrokes. And then open E palm mute. And then finish it over the third. So the last two notes are the same. And then repeat it, but from now on, we're gonna start with the open E again. So it's. And then the third time, it's. It's a chromatic thing, starting from the third. So together, the whole thing slowly. There's no rests in between the chromatic part. And that's the chorus. Okay. So now let's talk about the riff after the chorus. All the notes on the E string are still palm muted. And we're gonna start with an eighth note on the A string, which is followed by two sixteenth notes, which are alternate picks. So it's down and down up. And then add another eighth note there. So this is the first variation. Then after this, it's always the third fret on, on the E string with a quarter note and then two palm muted 16th note on the open E string. So alternate picking and then another quarter note there. This is the first variation. And the version B would look like this, starting with an eighth note again and then four 16th notes instead of two 16th notes plus an eighth note. So now it will look like this. So eighth notes and four 16th notes. So here's how the, the two version after each other would sound like, starting from A and then B. A and then B. And you repeat that, I believe, three times. And in the last bar, the last note is changing. We're gonna pick the same note, but we're gonna slide down to the second fret and then hit an open E power chord, which is actually the last bar there. So this is how the last two bars sound. And that's it. 
that's about it. Well, there's uh, the ending part actually, which is a chromatic riff, starting from the third fret again, and we're gonna just go up with all down strokes from th uh, the third to the fourth and the fifth. Repeat. And at the end, you're gonna add this upstroken, noise-making, now Gojira kind of lick. So it's an upstroke there and starting from the second fret. Live, then I'm used to play major thirds there. And palm it in. Something like that, okay? And that's about it. Thank you very much, this was it for today. I hope that you enjoyed today's lesson and maybe hopefully even learned something from it. If you have any questions or suggestions, just feel free to leave them in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Also, I got a Patreon site, if you wanna check that out, link below, you got all the tabs and backing tracks and stuff like that only there available. Thanks again and I'll see you next time, ciao. So now let's talk about, I guess, uh, the riff after the chorus. Oops. <laughs> which would look. So now let's talk about the riff after the chorus, which uh, would look, which would build up two different uh, rhythmic sections. <laughs> okay.